Question number 11 is another easy one. It is to find sums, difference, products, and quotient of functions. Now, if you look over here, they will specify you what is f of x, g of x, and you have to do all these following operations. Let's do a problem over here. They're all simple and straightforward. The same method is followed. Here, f of, see, this one, given as f, sorry, it's f plus g of x. What does this mean exactly? It means it's f of x plus g of x. That's it. Now, say, for example, we have f minus g of x. This is the function f of x minus the function g of x. The first one is over here first minus the second function. Same thing with f dot of g of x means you're multiplying these two f of x multiplied with g of x. And lastly, we have f by g of all x. Now here, this is f of x divided by g of x. This is it. This is how we understand these functions. Now, with, no, with this knowledge, we will start solving the first one. Here, it would be 2x f of x plus minus 4x plus 5. That would be 2x minus 4x plus 5 or it will be minus 2x plus 5. That's it. Same thing can be done for minus. It will be 2x minus of f of minus f of x plus 5. Just this plus becomes minus. That will be 2x plus 4x. Why minus times minus is plus and minus 5. That is 6x minus 5. Multiplication is by FOIL method. Over here, just uh, distributive property. It will be 2x times minus 4x plus 5. Multiply this 2x inside. It will be minus 8x squared plus 10x. And lastly, we have division. That is 2x divided by 4x plus 5. That's the answers. Let's just check the answers. It's minus 2x plus 5, the first one. Yes, and then we got cx minus 6x minus 5. And for multiplication, we got minus 8x squared plus 10x. And lastly, for division, we have this. Okay, this is fine. 2x divided by minus 4x plus 5. But what is this? x cannot be equal to this number. Now, what is anything divided by 0? You can't divide any number, say x divided by 0 is not possible, it's undefined. Because when you divide anything by 0, it will be an extremely large number, it goes up till infinity. It's not possible, so it's undefined value. Now, here in the denominator minus 4x plus 5, this cannot be equal to 0, okay, this entire term. So let's solve this. Let's take 4x to the other side, it will be positive, so it will be 5 cannot be equal to 4x. Or take 4 to the other side, it will be 5 by 4 is not equal to 4x. Or x cannot be equal to 4x, 5 by 4, sorry. This is what is mentioned. This will make the denominator undefined. So therefore, whatever is in the denominator, make it equal to 0, solve. And that must be an excluded value. This is how we solve it up. Same thing over here. I'll just do the last division part. Over here it will be x minus 1 divided by 5x minus 2. Here you should just equate 5x minus 2 equals 0 and solve. 5x equals 2, x equals 2 by 5. This is the excluded value. x cannot be equal to 2 by 5. I just put equal to and solve and then I'm telling the value of x when it's equal to 2 by 5 cannot be possible over here in the denominator. See so over here this adding is very straightforward and subtracting. We, we can multiply as well and then look here it is x minus 1 divided by 5x minus 2 but x does not be equal to 2 by 5. Please do the other problems over here. All the detailed solutions are available and do Check your answers by solving them by yourselves. So over here it'll be positive 7 by 2. If you want this presentation where all the solutions are mentioned, just click on the description and you can find the link where you can download the presentation. Here it's multiplication and this is the answer. Over here it's very straightforward. Take y, 5 to the other side. First equate this equal to 0. 5 to the other side is x equals to 5. 
So x value couldn't be equal to 5 over there. And now over here we have similarly just adding, subtracting and then multiplying. Lastly, we're dividing. For division, we just write it like that. That's it. And whatever is the denominator. Now, what about this here? It's a quadratic. So you need to use your calculator and solve. Let's take our calculator. Now you can press mode 5, 3. That is quadratics. Now you solve it. 2, 3 and minus 5. What are the x values? When x is equal to 1 and x is equal to negative 5 by 2, this will be undefined. So those two values must be excluded. x cannot be equal to 1 over there and it cannot be equal to negative 5 by 2. That's it. Same way, please do solve this problem. Over here, it's adding. That's very easy. And then subtract, uh, divide, uh, subtracting is also easy. Multiplication is by the rules. Here, please, first term with first term. Please remember this. Don't get confused. And then lastly, division is just writing it out. And whatever is the denominator, please exclude that value. It's just by mode 5, 3, you can put this denominator over here and solve it out. That's the end of this, uh, this particular question, which is a very easy one. Please do solve by yourself and then check for the answers. Once you're thorough with uh, you know a few of the questions, then you can definitely easily solve it in your exam.